Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is tiredness, real life, peeling from sunburn. We just got back from our Texas trip yesterday. Last night it was like 6.30. Right now it is the next day around 10.40 in the morning. We just went to the store because my fridge and my freezer, well my freezer is full, my fridge is empty. What we did before we left was we took everything from our outside refrigerator and freezer and put them inside and unplugged that so it was not running constantly. So the freezer looks packed but it mostly has convenient stuff like um, corn dogs, some burritos, some hot pockets, there's a few pizzas left. There's chicken and ground beef and waffles. I think that's about it for the most part. Um, and then our fridge is empty. I will show you and our pantry is okay. So we just wanted to get stuff like now, like this morning we just had like some random like oatmeal and pop tarts and water because <laughs> we have nothing. So a lot of this is fresh fruits and vegetables, milk, uh, just restocking on things that we need for, I don't know, a week or two. We just got stuff. To, to fill our fridge, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna show you though what it looks like really quick. And there's also a little bit of a story that goes along with this haul from Walmart. So let's look in the fridge and freezer. So as you can see, this looks pretty dang full. There's corn dogs, chicken sandwiches, some frozen vegetables, popsicles, waffles. There's meat in here. There's pizzas, burgers still. Um, ice packs and then stuff for smoothies so the door doesn't really have much like actual food so it looks really full but once we plug in our outside fridge and freezer and move that back it'll look a lot more empty so right now I have a jar of pickles some sodas in here orange juice some soda this kielbasa I'm gonna make tonight for dinner this is some sausage our snack drawer is pathetic this is empty these things I just pulled out this morning so we can make them. This is our fruit and veggie drawer. Those are some carrots left over. And then this has like lunch meat and cheese in it. And then of course like condiments and stuff in the door. So yeah, that needs a lot of help. There's no milk in there, nothing. And my house is still in shambles. We have not unpacked or anything. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw in my stories that we literally just dumped everything and went to bed for the most part because we were on the road for literally 25 hours. So anyway, this haul, this is part of it on my island and that is part of it over there as well. So we needed things for WIC before they expired on June 3rd. So we got that stuff. Then we were trying to pay part in cash, part in card, and it was a mess. And also because of the WIC items, they didn't have a lot of milk. So there's like four different kinds of milks in here and it's this whole weird situation. And the girl I think was new, the cashier, because she was supposed to run the wick first, then she told me a total of 244 and 44 cents. So I gave her a $100 bill and 44 cents. I don't think she entered it right because then she ran my debit card for a hundred dollars and 44 cents then there was still a balance remaining i can't remember what it was so then she called a supervisor over and had her try and fix it we're trying to explain to her what it was and i'm telling her the totals and she's like no but that's not right this is what it's telling me and the girl was like yeah it said 244 and 44 cents because she had the 44 cents in her hand and she was like let's just redo this i don't know what that girl did but after the wick went through we paid cash we paid a hundred dollars and eighty cents cash and then the rest went on our card and it was less than that before it was 244 left over this time it was like 218 left over after the wick went through so i don't know what happened but we ended up paying a little bit less than the first time around potentially i have no idea <laughs> but i'm pretty sure we have all of our food uh we had to take literally everything back out of the bags and the manager lady had to rescan every single item after everything was already in our carts and in the bags and everything. It was such a pain in the butt. And the cats are like running around trying to play with the bags. There's literally stuff everywhere. Anyway, okay, so the haul. I got some guacamole cups. We do need to go to Sam's again, but again, we're just trying to hold till we get there. So I wanted some more of these guacamole cups because I haven't had any in a while. We got some strawberries here. Matt grabbed these ribs to make sometime for dinner. We got a bag of green grapes right here. We have three cans of biscuits. Two of them are sweet Hawaiian, which I can't remember if we've tried before, but they look tasty. And then one butter taste in just to have with like dinners and whatever. I got two English cucumbers, a head of lettuce, 
I have two of these chef salads for me to eat for lunch or whatever. I got a little thing of blueberries. Connor's the only one that likes blueberries, but he loves them. I got a bag of organic um, baby carrots, some celery hearts down there as well. I got two things of eggs, one 12 count, one 18 count. I got family size salad to go tonight with our kielbasa. I'm gonna do kielbasa, green beans and potatoes, and then with the salad. And then we got hot dog buns here, because Matt grabbed hot dogs. I grabbed uh, hamburger buns so we can make those burgers one night as well. One loaf of bread for Matt for sandwiches. We have wheat bread, but he hates wheat bread, so I got that for him. We got some apples as well. And then there was a change in Wick. The lady asked me if we wanted to continue to buy the cheese, and I said no, and they switched it for more milk, but it's quart, like it's one quart milk. So it took us a while to figure that out, that it's these bottles. So these are 1% one, one quart milk bottles. And then Walmart only had one 1% 1 jug of milk left. So we grabbed that. And the only other thing that Wick approves is skim milk. So that's this one here. And also these are all Shamrock Farms because they didn't have any great value of this certain kind of Wick items because if you don't know about Wick, it has to be a certain brand, a certain size, a certain flavor, something like that. So it's very specific. And then these two are the ones that we purchased. Normally we drink 1%, but like I said, they didn't have any. So we got 2% milks as well. So we have milk. Dixie is eating the trash bag. Okay, so we also got potatoes, also for tonight with the kielbasa, but to carry over into other dinners because we don't have any. We did get a bag of fries to go with our burgers, though. That's the only frozen thing that I bought. I got some ham, some honey ham for sandwiches, and some um, bologna as well. We do have, I think, roast beef, I want to say, from Sam's before we left, but that's the only lunch meat we have. We also needed syrup. So we grabbed this one to hold us over so we can go back to Sam's, of course. We have two bundles of bananas back here. These items were from our outside fridge, so that doesn't count. We have a four pack of green beans and a four pack of corn underneath there as well. We got the green beans to make with the kielbasa. It's a sheet pan meal. And then I did also get some fruit cups just in case, just, I don't know, to hold us over because um, I feel like we're going to run through the fresh fruit quickly. So we have one thing of peaches, one thing of oranges, and then two of this cherry mixed fruit. Matt grabbed this for him to snack on, he said, the smoked sausage. And then we have the hot dogs to go with the hot dog buns because he wanted to make chili, chili cheese dogs, I think. We also got a package of cheese sticks, again, to hold us over. We got two of these um, Go-Gurts. Matt apparently really likes the vanilla, not the strawberry. I was mistaken for all this time. So he likes vanilla yogurt. I'm gonna try and start making his lunch again for him. Oh no, things are falling. Um, and then I got two of these Activia yogurts. The Chimani flips are just so expensive at the regular store when they're not on sale. I'm gonna see if Sam's Club has them again when we go back. If not, I'm gonna have to find a new yogurt. But for now I grabbed these. This is strawberry, banana, and peach. And then the bottom one is blueberry and strawberry. And then I also got these for the kiddos. I let them pick them out because they're really cheap. So Connor picked out blueberry, um, I think. Bo picked out strawberry banana and then Lacey picked out the vanilla and these cups are humongous like they hold a lot of yogurt for the price it's it's a really good deal so I grabbed that for them in addition to this since Matt's going to be eating half of these ones I got those for the kids as well and then we got some more ranch because we're almost out of that and these if you follow me on Instagram I talked about it in my stories um these Starbucks double shot energy I think these are the ones I got. They might be slightly different, but I drank two of these on about three or four hours of sleep during that 25 hours. I was awake for longer than 25 hours. We were on the road for 25 hours. But anyway, I drank two of these while driving and <laughs> they did wonders. So I'm probably gonna drink one today because we have to unpack and, you know, make our house livable again. I will say that cleaning before we left really, really helped and made a difference. The only thing that I have to actually like clean or pick up 
is the groceries and then just put all of our travel stuff away. But I don't need to clean bathrooms. I don't need to mop. I don't need to, you know, pick up random things. Like it's just from traveling. So that's going to save a lot of time. But I got one for now and then I'll just have one for another day that I feel like I need it. We got peanut butter as well. A small cottage cheese for me to eat for breakfast or snack or whatever. Some sour cream as well. We got frosted flakes. Matt picked that out. Honey, honey bunches of oats. Cheerios and Cocoa Pebbles back there as well. Matt grabbed the Skaterade, um, the powder to make his own Gatorade in his giant water bottle for work. We got some of the premium shells and cheese. It's like Velveeta knockoff brand. We had gotten Kraft, oops, Kraft brand of this from Sam's Club. If you guys watched that haul and it was delicious. So we got the Great Value Pine to go with some dinners. And then here is the chili to go with the chili cheese dogs. There's three of those. I grabbed two cans of this Rotel. I figured I could throw it in the crock pot or something with some chicken and make some type of, you know, chicken and cheese quesadillas or something or rice or whatever. And then we got two things for pasta. So we got some garden rotini and then just some regular shells. And then Matt grabbed, I think both are the same, mushroom and green pepper sauces to go with uh the pasta and then our non-food items that we grabbed was some more toothpaste for matt and i since we're almost out and i got some more toothbrushes as well just because matt and i need to replace ours and the kids will need to change theirs soon so i got that and then i'm an idiot and i left my face washes at Matt's family's house in Texas and I realized that last night when I went to go take a shower after we were home not that big of a deal that's the only thing that I have realized that we forgot <laughs> uh, so instead of mailing back my face wash I just told his uh, sister to throw it away I have an extra what is it called Cetaphil 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 I have an extra one of those but I needed this one so I bought just the one that I needed and I took out the one I have from underneath my sink already. And then Connor's deodorant, when we stopped at a Chevron or something somewhere in Texas um, to like freshen up, like I put our toothbrushes and our toothpaste, a change of clothes and deodorant in a duffel bag so we could change in the bathroom and brush our teeth and stuff since we didn't have access to like an actual bathroom or showers, right? When he went to put his on though, it was almost empty. So the actual like deodorant stick popped out and like rolled on the bathroom floor so we just threw it away and then he used his dad's deodorant. I just want to make sure that the kids are using a deodorant that does not have aluminum in it. And this particular Walmart, it was a small neighborhood one. They did not have Tom's, which is what he was normally using or an Equate brand either. So we got him an Old Spice just deodorant that does not have the aluminum in it for him to use. And then Matt grabbed an Irish Spring body wash some of this stuff as well and then i got two more of these bowls because the big kids are needing bigger bowls for like cereal and matt and i really like these for cereal or if the kids have a big um fruit salad they'll put like grapes strawberries bananas you know all that stuff in a bowl so it's just nice to have big ones and these are really cheap so i just got two more since we have quite a few Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was everything that we got to hold us over for now to fill our empty fridge. So we're going to have to put all this away and continue to pick up the rest of our house. So I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. I know I was talking like a million miles a minute. I'm just trying to get stuff done. You know, like I need my house back in order. It's driving me nuts and I just want to relax. You know what I mean? I just, I just need to relax a little bit. We also have to clean our pool probably tomorrow and Matt's gone right now getting the van completely washed like inside outside and vacuumed I was gonna take pictures but I totally forgot because um, yeah it got messy from the beach from traveling how long I don't know 3,000 plus miles I think um, so yeah that van was worth renting and it got used and it got a lot of love so he's out right now getting that cleaned up because we have to return it in about three hours so he's doing that and I'm gonna put all the food away and then start, just start everything else. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook already, I highly suggest that you do. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye.